Hi everyone, it's Taylor with a daily again, and let's get into it. So scrolling through congress.gov, trying to find something that I can make a video on, and I came across HR 8786. Now, this is nothing special about it, but it was just a great example of something that I want to talk about, and that is special interest groups, or special interests in general. And this piece of legislation, it was introduced by Anthony Gonzalez, a Republican representative from Ohio, and it is called the Increasing Investor Opportunities Act. And what it does is it basically allows for closed-in mutual funds to invest in private funds, or hedge funds in other words. They're basically heavily unregulated, large amounts of money that can invest in just about any kind of security they wish to, any kind of derivative, whatever they want to. And what this would essentially allow for is huge amounts of money in closed-in mutual funds to invest in other huge amounts of money in private hedge funds that have no regulation. Now, for those people that could be parts of those closed-in mutual funds, maybe you own some, I don't know, you're going to be able to make potentially a lot more money because you're going to have a lot more money with your own money. But really what this is doing is getting the rich richer. It's not really targeting anybody for America. I mean, obviously somebody was in this guy's back pocket and said, hey, go introduce this legislation for me. And this is the kind of thing that I want to point out in this video. Yes, I'm calling out Anthony Gonzalez 100% because these people need to be held accountable for these types of actions. Maybe one person from Ohio that's in his district will see this and they'll say, man, I'm thinking a little bit differently about that guy. Because if you're going to introduce this type of legislation, make sure that you have some kind of reason for it. This seems like it's just to make certain people a bunch more money. Somebody that's talking to him on the side, I don't know. Now, it'll likely never ever ever get passed, or maybe it will, but he at least put it out there and he can go back to his constituency, somebody who's probably giving a ton of money, and say, hey, I did this for you, make sure that you give my campaign a bunch more money so that I can get reelected. Now, I know that a lot of people's immediate reaction is gonna be, well, why are you calling out this one? This happens all the time, all the time in Congress. Well, if you don't start somewhere, where do you start? So here we go, and we're gonna start this. It's gonna be a regular thing on this channel because these are people and they are making decisions just because you don't hear about them all the time and they're not one of the big representatives like you know AOC, who's a huge senator. She's always out in the media and stuff like that. There are still people submitting legislation that we need to hold accountable and we need to be looking at what everything, every single thing that they're putting into Congress because it means something. It is significant. It is something they are trying to change our country for. And that's why we need to hold these people accountable. I'll be doing a lot more of this in the future. And if you like it, make sure you like the video and share it, subscribe, all that good stuff. The last thing I wanna talk about this piece of legislation is the date that it was introduced. And this is really why it stuck out to me. It's because it was introduced on November 19th of 2020. And that is still very much in the height of COVID-19. Now, not to say that everything needs to be COVID-19 related, but is this really a priority? Is this piece of legislation really tackling something that's gonna do a lot of people a lot of good right now? Because that is what we're looking for out of government right now. A lot of people are relying on the government to step in and help them with this horrible, horrible crisis. Now, once again, not everything has to be COVID-19 related. I get that, I'm not gonna stick to it. But when you see this type of prioritization, it just sticks out and it makes me feel bad that we have rep we have these people representing us that are still trying to do these money grabs for other constituents that are probably donating to their campaigns. Now, all of, a lot of that is assumption, but it's probably not off base, not that far off base, right? With that, I want to say thank you for watching. Follow me on Twitter and have a good one, guys.